If you're unvaccinated and work at Duke Health, your job may be in jeopardy. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. So beginning today, all Duke Health employees have to have the vaccine or risk disciplinary action, and that could include being fired. CBS 17's Imani Payne is live at Duke Force tonight. And Imani, how are things looking out there? Have you heard from employees? been pretty quiet so far. Employees coming out of the hospital tell us that they haven't been disciplined so far, but that could change in the coming days as Duke officials tell us there are no plans to extend their vaccine deadline. Time is up for unvaccinated employees at Duke Health. The healthcare system saying beginning today, employees who have not received their COVID vaccine may be placed on administrative leave or even fired. Officials saying as a result, several employees decided to get vaccinated this morning. For us, this is really about um, committing to living our values and our core value of caring for our patients, caring for their loved ones, and caring for each other, caring for our team members. Katie Galbraith is the president of Duke Regional Hospital. Despite staffing shortages at hospitals across the country, she says Duke is prepared to continue meeting the demand and needs of all their patients, even if employees do decide to resign. Well, I don't anticipate a major challenge from a staffing perspective if we have a team member who chooses to go elsewhere because they do not want to get vaccinated. We understand that. Um, and we still stick by this, this requirement. So far, 98% of employees have been vaccinated or received a medical or religious exemption. That percentage could increase as new employees or those out on medical leave have six weeks to get their shot. However, hundreds remain unvaccinated and subject to potentially losing their job as Duke says it will not be extending their deadline. And we asked Duke officials how many employees have resigned as a result of this mandate and how many, if any, face consequences today. We are still waiting on those numbers. For now, we're live in Durham. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. All right, Imani, thanks so much for the update. Well, UNC Health is giving its employees more time to get the vaccine.